What if you couldn't distinguish between what's real and what isn't? This question is the harsh reality for millions of people around the globe who live with schizophrenia, a severe chronic mental health disorder that affects how a person thinks, feels, and behaves. Schizophrenia is often misunderstood, shrouded in a cloud of myths and misconceptions. One of the most common is the belief that it's a split personality disorder. But schizophrenia is not about having multiple personalities. It's about experiencing a distorted reality, where the lines between the real and the unreal blur. Imagine perceiving the world through a kaleidoscope, where thoughts, feelings, and experiences are fragmented and disjointed, where your perception of yourself and the world around you is often at odds with reality. This is the disconcerting world that those with schizophrenia navigate daily. They may see or hear things that don't exist, speak in confusing ways, believe that others are trying to harm them, or feel like they're being constantly watched. With such a distorted perception, carrying out day-to-day -day activities can be extremely challenging. But what causes this disorder? Is it genetic or environmental? The truth is, we don't fully understand. It's likely a complex interplay of many factors, genetics, brain chemistry, environmental stressors, and perhaps others we've yet to uncover. It's also essential to remember that schizophrenia is not a one-size-fits-all condition. It manifests differently in different people. Some may experience hallucinations, others delusions, and yet others may have difficulties with memory and concentration. The experience of schizophrenia is as unique as the individual living with it. But despite its complexities and challenges, there's hope. Though currently incurable, schizophrenia is treatable. And with the right combination of medication, psychotherapy, and social support, individuals with schizophrenia can lead meaningful, fulfilling lives. Now that we have a basic understanding of what schizophrenia is, let's delve into a personal experience. As we move forward, we'll explore the lived experience of someone with schizophrenia, highlighting the personal journey that underscores the scientific and clinical aspects of this disorder. Each story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, providing insights that go beyond the textbooks. Imagine waking up one day and your reality has shifted completely. Let's take a journey into the life of a dear friend named Sam. Sam was the life of the party, always full of energy and charisma. But over time we began to notice some changes. Sam started to withdraw not just from social gatherings but even from our everyday conversations. We thought perhaps he was just going through a rough patch, dealing with stress or the ups and downs of life. But then, things took a turn. Sam started to behave unusually, talking about things that didn't quite make sense and showing a level of paranoia that was out of character for him. For a while we overlooked these signs, attributing them to fatigue or stress. But when Sam started hearing voices that weren't there, reality hit us. Sam was diagnosed with schizophrenia. This diagnosis was a shock, not only to Sam but to all of us close to him. It was difficult to understand how someone so vibrant and full of life could be living with such a debilitating condition. But Sam, being Sam, didn't let this diagnosis define him. He began his journey towards understanding and managing his condition. He started attending therapy sessions, learning about his illness and how to cope with it. He took medication regularly and learned the importance of a support system. It was a slow and challenging journey, but we saw Sam becoming more and more in control of his life. There were good days and bad days, moments of clarity and moments of confusion. But through it all, Sam remained resilient. He taught us that living with schizophrenia isn't about fighting a battle every day but about understanding and managing the condition. And so, Sam's journey serves as a testament to the human spirit's resilience. It's a reminder that schizophrenia, while life-altering, is not a life sentence. It's a condition that, with the right help and support, can be managed. This story serves as a reminder that schizophrenia is not a life sentence, but a condition that can be managed with the right help. So, what exactly happens in the brain of a person with schizophrenia? Well, it's fascinating and complex. Scientists believe that an imbalance in the brain's chemical reactions involving neurotransmitters like dopamine and glutamate may play a role in the development of schizophrenia. Dopamine, a powerful neurotransmitter, is integral to how we process rewards, make decisions, and control our movements. An overactive dopamine system might create a barrage of stimuli, leading to the hallucinations and delusions associated with schizophrenia. But let's not forget glutamate, this neurotransmitter is involved in most aspects of normal brain function, including cognition, memory, and learning. 
Research suggests that reduced glutamate activity may contribute to poor performance on tasks requiring cognitive flexibility, a common issue for individuals with schizophrenia. However, it's not all about neurotransmitters. Genes also play a significant role. While no single gene causes schizophrenia, a multitude of genetic variations can increase the risk. The disorder tends to run in families but it's important to remember that just because one has a genetic predisposition doesn't guarantee they'll develop schizophrenia. It's a complex interplay between genes and environment. Speaking of the environment, factors such as prenatal exposure to viral infections, early nutritional deficiencies, psychosocial factors and even complications during birth can increase the risk of developing schizophrenia. These elements, in combination with genetic predisposition, can tip the balance, leading to the onset of the disorder. So, you see, it's a bit like a puzzle. Each piece, an overactive dopamine system, reduced glutamate activity, a cocktail of genetic variations and environmental factors, fits together to create a picture of schizophrenia. And while this picture is complex and multifaceted, it's also a testament to the resilience of those living with the condition. Understanding the science behind schizophrenia can help in developing effective treatment strategies. With continued research and a better understanding of this intricate puzzle, we can hope for improved treatments and a brighter future for those living with schizophrenia. Is there a cure for schizophrenia? A question that weighs heavily on the minds of many. While there isn't a definitive cure for schizophrenia, it is important to know that this condition can be effectively managed. The path to managing schizophrenia is multifaceted, involving a combination of medication, psychological therapy, and social support. Each of these components plays a pivotal role in helping individuals lead fulfilling, productive lives, despite their diagnosis. Let's start with medication. Antipsychotic drugs are typically the first line of treatment. These medications can help reduce the intensity and frequency of psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, and disordered thinking. It's crucial to note that these drugs are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Different individuals may respond differently to the same medication, which is why it's essential to work closely with healthcare providers to find the most effective therapeutic regimen. Next, we move to psychological therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, can help individuals cope better with the symptoms that medication may not fully control. This form of therapy aims to change the patterns of thinking or behavior that are causing problems and can also help in dealing with stress and improving social interaction. Finally, we can't underestimate the value of a strong support system. Social support, whether it's from family, friends, or support groups, can provide the emotional sustenance that individuals with schizophrenia need to navigate their daily lives. This support can also play a crucial role in ensuring adherence to medication and therapy. Early detection and continuous treatment are of utmost importance. The sooner schizophrenia is diagnosed and treated, the better the outcome tends to be. It's also essential to understand that treatment is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. Even if symptoms subside, ongoing treatment is usually necessary to help manage the condition and prevent relapses. Remember, the journey towards managing schizophrenia is a marathon, not a sprint, and every step forward counts. How can we make a difference for people living with schizophrenia? This question may seem daunting but the answer is simpler than one might think. The first step is to reduce the stigma around schizophrenia. This mental health condition, like any other illness, is not a personal failing or a sign of weakness. It is a medical condition that affects millions of individuals worldwide, and it is high time we treated it as such. By fostering an environment of understanding and acceptance, we can help those living with schizophrenia feel less isolated and more supported. Promoting understanding about schizophrenia is also crucial. It's a complex disorder, with symptoms that can be confusing and frightening to those who are unfamiliar with them. However, knowledge is power. By educating ourselves and others about what schizophrenia really is, we can dispel myths and misconceptions that only serve to further isolate those living with the condition. We can help society see that people with schizophrenia are not to be feared or pitied, but understood and supported. Encouraging people to learn more about schizophrenia is another significant step. There are numerous resources available from medical journals and textbooks to documentaries and personal narratives. By delving deeper into the realities of this condition, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of its complexities. This knowledge can then be used to foster empathy and compassion, both of which are essential when supporting someone with schizophrenia. Lastly, we must support those living with schizophrenia. This could mean offering a listening ear, providing practical assistance, 
or advocating for better mental health services. Remember that every action, no matter how small, can make a significant impact. Remember, understanding and empathy can make all the difference in the world for someone living with schizophrenia. Whether you are a medical student, a caregiver, or just someone who wants to make a difference, remember that your actions can help pave the way forward for those living with this condition.